Welcome back to Vine Family. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm your host, Nabella. And I'm your host, Shanai. And we are the host of 2DW. Two Today we have a really great topic this festive season. We are going to be talking about supporting Black-owned businesses, which I think is very, very important. We have a really special guest. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. Pick her brain. Pick her brain. Pick everybody's brain. But come back. We'll be right back soon. <laughs> Welcome back to Vine Family. So as mentioned, we do have a guest today, Huida. Hi. Hi. Hello. So she has a really cool business called Asada's Creation, where you make um, hair bowls for boys and girls. Divine hair bowls for boys and girls, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I love it here. You guys are amazing. Thank you for having me. Hey, oh, nice. hey, what, what, what? So, like I said, we was talking about supporting black-owned businesses. As you can see, Krita is a melanin queen, so she has a black-owned business. Um, I want to get into... <laughs> you know I'm crazy, It's girl. the Christmas spirit, y'all. <laughs> the eggnog. So, I want to get into that topic. Like, supporting black-owned businesses, the, the businesses, because you know... <sighs> I don't want to work for myself. I can't wait to get my own business. And I think, <laughs> and I think it's really good that I admire someone when they go and step out on faith. And say, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be my own boss, and it flourishes. That's like the the most. That's the dream. That is the dream. <laughs> I love to see that. Like yo, he or she did it, and it's, it's of course it's gonna be ups and downs. You know, it's gonna be some dry months. But as long as you know that's your passion and that's your and that's what you want to do, you're gonna see it go into fruition. So I love to support that. Like I love to see somebody that's actually going for what they want. So Miss Quita, Miss Asada's creation. Like where did that come from? Um, it came from my daughter actually. His name is Asada. Nice. It came out of most like like most black women having to do things for your child on your own. And she was having a dance, and I needed to help her make an African outfit for her daddy daughter dance. And the woman who made the outfit did a good job. I was gonna say great, but no, she did a good job. <laughs> but I ended up having to do some little alterations here or there, and it just, she needed something in her hair that could show her hair without wrap, having it wrapped. And, like a finishing touch. A finishing touch. She needed a finishing touch. So I made her a bow, and it took me all week. I was sitting at my desk at work just make, practicing, and I made like eight or nine, and until I got the best one, and then I ended up, people at the job start passing by and saying, oh, that's nice, can, can how much? <laughs> like, oh, wow. they thought that I was making it to sell when I was really just demoing it for her outfit at the end of the week. So after I made the perfect one for her, I put it in my car, and then afterwards I had all of these extras, and then I just started giving them out. And people had them on their desk, and wearing them, walking them around the office, and I'm like, huh, oh, they look pretty good. I can, I can do something with this. And so that kind of sparks me. Spark maybe, maybe this can go somewhere. Exactly. Huh. And that's how it all started. That's dope. Yeah. That's what's up. So how did Asada dress in the Amazing. Because <laughs> she has... <laughs> A mother that won't let her look crazy out here in the streets. Right. And she looked so great. And I loved how it turned out. Like, it, everything was great. And unfortunately, she didn't win the best couple, her daddy and daughter. But it was great. So, <laughs> it was just my opinion. Right. My humble little opinion. But she looked amazing. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So, from the desk of you creating these bowls to now you got business cards. Now you have yeah. people that's actually interested in them. And nice. Asking me, oh, can you make this? Or could it be this color? Or my son have, has a dance or he has church and he needs to match. And that's how it just exploded. And then it started as girls' bowls, hair bowls, and then it went to boys' bow ties. That's dope. Yeah. Where you can actually flip it in transition. Yeah, depending on the yes. That's cute. How long have you been in business? 
it'll be 18, so three years now. Nice. Eight, That's awesome. Eight, 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 eight. Sorry. Like Again, like I said, I love supporting businesses. She's going up, so I'm like, hey. <laughs> um, okay, so have you had any strife? Um, no, no, no. Haven't we all? <laughs> uh, when it comes to the business, yes, I've had some strife. I've had some strife with, you know, our own people. Gotcha. Not wanting to pay full price or friends who need certain things. And because we're friends. <laughs> Expect, Why? yeah, expect a little discount, which is fine getting started. I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I don't. No, you don't get it. I don't. That's like a slap in the face, you right. know, because, because you put a lot of energy into your product and you're trying to be successful. And people may, I mean, I understand if not everybody can afford certain things, but I feel like they're undermining your craft right. by going, hey, can you give me a discount because we're friends or whatever else. But at the same time, it wouldn't be an issue for you to pay the same price as somebody who wasn't me. Mm -hmm. wasn't, exactly. Wasn't someone who looked like you. Right. right. Yeah, so I, I would say that the discount should come because you want to get it. You know, like me, I'm, I'm a big um, believer, like I said, supporting somebody. So if I see she has these goals and I like, I'm going to pay full price. And if I'm going to her and, you know, I'm getting stuff from her every week, right. she I'm sees me supporting, she's going to throw in, she's, she's going to want to throw in that exactly. discount. You don't want to go... He said, yo, how much for this? Like, <laughs> dude, five dollars. No, it's not three twenty-five. Like, <laughs> and I say that because I seen a meme that said, um, a white, a white person could sell a hot dog for five twenty-five at a concession stand, and you'll go and buy it. A Chinese person can sell that same hot dog for four twenty-five, and you'll go and buy it. But the minute the black person has the, the hot dog for three twenty-five, like three three dollars, like, yes. $2. Like, Black owned does not mean <laughs> less of value or entitling you to a discount. And I think people right. think that. And it's like, how are you helping the movement by knowing that Black people sometimes have to go through more to establish a business and prevail and market their stuff and have to compete with other types of people? And then you're going to come up and be like, let me get a discount. It's like, no. Why? <laughs> you're developing your own self by expecting to pay less, but you're expecting this person to thrive and you're saying that you're down for helping your community out, but then you don't want to be fully, fully supportive because you want a discount. That's maddening. Yeah. yeah. That, it can be. It can be. Really grinds my gears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, for real, real talk. Or, or let's say you put something on Instagram, right? And you have the advertisement and instead of, okay, let's say you can't afford to support them with monetary um, money or whatever, share it. Like, there may be somebody else that, that will probably benefit from that. But because, That's okay, true. I don't mean it, just keeps scrolling. Like, there's different ways for you to support a Black-owned business. Yeah, and I will say this. I have come across a lot of other Black entrepreneurs trying to start their business, and to them, it's a... You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Like I have a friend who's a photographer, and he said, "Hey, I'll showcase your stuff if mm -hmm. you support me and mention it." You know, I like that. Right. So it's give and take. It's give and take. And yeah. that's nice because you're helping. Not only are you helping another black person, but you're kind of like working in to establish another community. Like yours is is making the the bow ties, and then somebody else is a photographer. So that's right. the artist community. That that's black. Growing. That's really exactly. helping each other. I like I like that a lot. I think yeah. that's very helpful. Art is growing together. Let's it's, it's space for everyone in these businesses. And uh, that's a good point because a lot of people would say, "Well, I wanted to get into the lash business, but everybody's doing lashes. It's like hey, everybody's not you. Right. Like and there is you're going to do it the way you do it. You're going to have your own lane. Your own. It may be the same product, but you can sell it differently. You know, yeah. you may have yeah. your own niche to it, to where you have your own following, you know what I mean? Like, how many lip glosses are there out there? You know what I mean, like? And yet we all pull out diff different lip Different ones, right exactly, yeah. different brands. It's like, yeah. it's not, there's room enough for everybody at the table to eat. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Agreed. Yeah, um, I would say that too. Like, it's all about being different. Anytime you wanna be creative, we know that everything has been, I hate when people say everything there's nothing new under the sun, 
because it really undermines innovation, but it's like, well, nobody has done it my way. So clearly there is a new way for something to be done. Because when you go around telling people there's nothing new that's under the sun, you're just you're basically telling people that they shouldn't even bother being creative because everything has been done before, but they haven't done it like me. Remix. <laughs> so what you trying to say? Like, get your old non-creative face out. I'm playing. Um, <laughs> halfway. Dead that, serious. That happens when people are too afraid to step out on their own and mm. fail and ha have the risk of failing. So mm. they kind of talk themselves out of it. They talk themselves out of it by thinking that somebody else is already doing what they want to do. Right. But like Chris said, nobody can do it like you can. Nobody. Yeah. So how do you how do you stay inspired or how do you connect with your inspiration for what you do? I live with my inspiration. Hey now. <laughs> oh yeah. That's fair. That's solid. That's <laughs> fair. I live with my inspiration. But like coming up with different designs and Well, right now I'm very really like in the African design because <laughs> With, with the unfortunate passing of Tabby Movement. And what a loss. Yes, a big mm. loss. Felt by people across, oh my gosh. not just the black community, people across the world. Mm. I've gotten back into my Marvel with love. Mm -hmm. Marvel <laughs> is, is, is life. Yeah. And they do, they do relatively well, like better than the African and the Marvel. That's the best. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting more into that. And I'm just trying to see what people like. And give them that because I like I like what I do. I like making them. I like my daughter loves going out to the events and selling and you know talking to people. She's like, oh, an a extrovert, <laughs> <laughs> such an extrovert. So I like it. I like that bonding time with us together. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep doing it regardless. But I love that others are loving what I have to share with them. That's awesome. That's dope. Yeah. Now, I know your your business is Asada's creation, so that could be anything under the sun. Exactly. So it's room for expansion. Oh, okay. She just right on my mouth. Okay, I'm on I'm her. I'm on her. I'll sit next to me. Let me sit. Well, you guys, we um, talked a little bit about this topic, but there's a lot more that we're going to discuss. So we're going to pay some bills, but when we get back, we're going to get more into it. Hang tight. Welcome back to Vine Family. So we are back from our short break of paying bills. We were talking about supporting black-owned businesses. We do have today's special guest, Miss Quita, with Asada's Creation. So we got into a lot. We kind of jumped all over the place with, you know, where you got started, some tips of what we don't like, what grinds our gears. Um, so, okay. I want to ask you this. So you've been doing this for about three years. Yes. Okay. So would you say, would you say if this picks up and takes off, this is like we're out the door for, with work. It's like. <laughs> she said we. <laughs> we. We're out the door. Our business. <laughs> Cause some people, no. <laughs> look, because <laughs> to some people, and it, it's, I would say it is kind of smart because it's like if you hit the lottery, some people still want to work as opposed to just, you know, go and enjoy their money. Some people would have their business and still also work. So, I understand what you, what, you what I was trying to I, say, I, right? I, I, okay, I, I, okay. Um, no. <laughs> No. I said all that. It, was like, <laughs> it is not my intention to work for someone else for the rest of my life. I want to be in business for myself. Mm. I am college educated. I want to use my degree. I want to have time with my daughter. Eventually hand the business down to her because she loves making them as well. I want to, no, not go back to work. No. <laughs> it's a no. That's a no. That's a no. But eventually, when, it, when not if, when. There we go. Affirmation. <laughs> When it takes off the way I would like it to, I do want to make it my full-time career. I do want to start working for myself. Yes. Dope. Dope. Okay, so have you had, like, any events to where you're actually presenting your bowls? Like, is it, is, do we just find you on Instagram, or are you, like, out there in the community, like, yo, Silas Creations <laughs> over here, like, bowls? Yeah, well, I've done some um, pop-ups. Okay and some venues but right now because of the situation that we're in right now that be the COVID situation no i haven't been doing them because they haven't been many but hopefully i'm 
once this all is over and die down and get back into it. Okay. I'm excited for it. That's and it what's happens up. on all levels. <laughs> Do you have a preferred way of selling like online versus in person? Is there much of a difference in revenue or any of those factors? Online is, is better for me because mm -hmm. I can get the orders, get right to business. Whereas in person, if you want something specific, I would have to, you know, go back, cut, you know, make tour, mm -hmm. basically. So whatever you want, <laughs> but at the end of the day, either way. Yeah. Now you going post or you or we do a door dash. What we doing? <laughs> Y'all know I'm special. Super special. <laughs> Made to order. <laughs> Made to order. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What I like was that you mentioned loving what you're doing, and I think that um everybody. Well, I won't say everybody, but I feel like a lot of people can easily feel appeased by having a job, like uh, their own business, just to escape whatever they're doing nine to five wise. Yes. But it may not be something that they truly love. It's just like, this is just my way out. And even though I don't love it, it's an option. So finding that motivation and that authentic energy about doing what you love is very important because it's not going to feel like a work, like a job. I was exactly. just thinking that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. And I like that you said that your daughter likes doing it with you. Loves That's it. very nice. She'll remind me. Wow. Mommy, what are we selling? <laughs> so you're teaching her entrepreneur skills at her age. Exactly. Beautiful. Yes. That's the point. Very nice. I want it, I want her to be able to work for herself. I want her to have that confidence. I don't want to have to have her go into the work field and think, oh, this is all I have to do until I can do what I want to do. I want to hand off the business, get it to where she needs to to be, and fade into the background. Wow. I'm about to go take my tea. I think you got this. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, there's always there's always positivity and negativity when someone creates something. You know how as I'm, I'm creative, so I know where what Erica Badu means. She's saying, "Hey, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit." Today's sponsor is Asada's Creation Bow Ties and Hair Bows for Girls and Guys. You can find her on Shop Magic Queendom underscore LLC on Instagram. So. <laughs> have you gone through that with like some of your creations? Like, <laughs> because Instagram could be so brutal. Like, you could put something up and you may get like a lot of positive comments, and then you know this kind of And then, I mean, people troll me on my personal. <laughs> yeah, everybody goes through that. But at the end of the day, like you said, if I love what I'm doing, then no, no, no. take it or leave it. Okay. Because some people would actually not have be that strong-minded they, they see a lot of negative comments more so than positive. They're like, you know what? I don't want to go into that. And that's not, you know that's I mean? not me. That's not me. I'm not in it for, for anybody else. I'm in it to, in my mind, I'm in it to make a good business, pass it down to my daughter, have her love, fall in love with it like I did, and anybody who doesn't like it, I'm teaching teach her like I teach myself. It's not, you're not for everybody. That's right. Very true. You're not everybody's cup of tea. Exactly. Yeah. And, you, and, you know, and you're not meant to be. Yeah. You're not meant to be. Or coffee. I don't like coffee. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> Y'all don't come for me. Okay. okay. Y'all don't come for me. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Okay, so would you say that a lot of your supporters are strangers or family? Definitely strangers. <laughs> and that's the crazy, that's the Definitely crazy strangers. part. Yeah. That like, you can be in their own backyard and they don't really see what you're doing until, and now it's a line around the corner. Like, what what bit of that going on with you? <laughs> No, I, let me say this. Let, let me let me backtrack because I don't want to get cursed out. <laughs> right, right. No family no, names. No, no, no. Let me let me back up. My family is very supportive of what I do, and they love me no matter what. They want to support if I ask them to. But I find people who love what I do are people who come across me and they're just super excited about it. Whereas family is more of a that's great. <laughs> right, right. I get that too. You know. You understand? I got you, yeah, yeah. And I don't know why that is. I guess it's because they see you first before they see your craft. 
They know you, they know, they know you all your life. Okay, yeah, okay, she makes bowls, whatever, but then when they see that creation on somebody, like, that looks bomb, and yo, yeah, my niece did that. Now it's like an appreciation of it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I think it's saying somebody I know did that. Are. Right, yeah. right. So, so, Quita, aside of loving what you do um, and it not feeling like a job because of the connection you have to your craft, do you have any advice or any types of mentalities or beliefs for aspiring black business owners? Yeah, sure. <laughs> aspiring black business art. If you love your art, do it and everything will fall into place. That's what I believe. I still believe that <laughs> three years in. <laughs> <laughs> Must be true, right? <laughs> yeah, just do what you do, love what you do. Don't think of it that a, as a way out of what you're already doing because I know, everybody has to meet. Right. So, right. Yeah. at the end of the day, but if you love what you do and you do it because you love what you do, everything else will fall into place, just like life. Like, have you ever just been in your mind, you're going to do something, but it's only ever in your mind, and as soon as you start it, everything else just moves out the way for you? That's exactly how it goes. And, it's, it's and I'm going to... Um vouch for that because there was one time I was, I was like you know what Peter, I want to watch Medea I want to watch Medea but I can't find these videos she was like just manifest it just think about it you're going to do it and I went to Walmart for something and I happened to go down this aisle and it was like the whole bit of Medea's <laughs> start to finish I'm like what time I text this guy I still have the text message I sent the picture like so just believe it whatever <laughs> Nothing bad though, whatever it is, you you gotta manifest it. And that was something small you want to watch a movie. So imagine if you could yeah. your business. I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that was I was like, I'm not talking to this girl. I think she's a witch. <laughs> she didn't show me some quest. <laughs> no, but it's true. It just happens. It just happens. You just gotta want it, you gotta put it in your mind, I'm gonna get it, and the universe will be like, okay. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, mindset yeah. is very important. And um, yes. also when you were saying, um, you guys are talking about negative comments and some people getting discouraged. I think it's like you were saying, very important to not worry about that because right. that's going to happen regardless. I mean, if you put pictures of yourself on social media, you're risking somebody being like, "Ew, you ugly," you know, <laughs> or someone is being like, "Why you look like that?" <laughs> but that's just the society that we're in. A lot exactly. Of people are really exactly. Bored. There's no running away from it. <laughs> yeah. There's none at all. So at the end of the day, you have to be strong enough in your own mind to know. Fight him. Fight him. Yeah. Just punch him in the face. I don't know how you get it. Manifest it. I'm a man. Manifest it. Punch him in the face. Well, that's really refreshing to know. It's, it's, it's like I said, you're You feel it. You let me know. You feel it. Dang. Yes. Next day. Right. Keep going. Dang. So I guess you gotta be prepared for anything. Exactly. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, that's yeah. for everything, too. You're going to have your ups and downs with everything. Yeah. Yeah. And life. And that's life. life. That's that's life. life. Mm. But I think to some people, like you're saying, some people look at it as, oh, this is my, my way out. So they may be so in the dreamer mind that they're not looking at the fact that maybe it won't be successful. Maybe people won't be supportive. Maybe you have to really put in a lot of work early mornings, late nights, and so right. forth. And I think that's the reality of how a lot of entrepreneurship is, especially when you have a 9 to 5 that you're also using to that socialize. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have so that. So people balance. don't want to put that work in. They're just like, well, I thought I was going to get, you know, rich because I'm, I'm trying to decide. No, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, and it's a lot you have to learn. It's a lot of books you have to read about business if you're not in that classes. Field, classes, and you have to listen for different ups and downs that somebody else has so you can be prepared for those ups and downs or even take notes, you know? You just got to be a student of the you're world. Right, basically. Yeah, you, you have, have to learn it as you perfect it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, this has been a really bomb episode. I am so glad that Queen was able to join us. With, so I was invited. Of course, <laughs> Solid Creations. Um, anything else you want to hone in on or tap into? Tap, 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 and stop. Um, anything else you want to say before we get out of here? <laughs> um, just for all black businesses, all businesses, we're here, we support each other. As long as we can do that, we can thrive together, all of us. Ask yourself. Where can people find you and your and Asadas? I mean, I'm gonna give it to her. Where can people find you and Asadas Creations? Well, I'm on Instagram, uh, Shop Magic Queendom. 
underscore LLC. That's where they can find all the bows. I do special orders, so. DoorDash. Yeah, DM me. That's why I did the DM. I mean, I like that you said shop magic queen dims. Not king, but queen dims. I like that. So yeah. shop magic queen dim underscore LLC on Instagram. It's ma'am. Hey, so again, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, Shanai, anything you wanna say? Faces you wanna make? Uh, <laughs> And unless you want to say something crazy that I can react to. Uh, you know what? We're not going to give her no more attention, y'all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank Later. you. Later.